All right, this is video seven. I got cut off in the last video. Let's see here, I believe we were adding some text and I was right in the middle of typing hello. So let me find my L here, L, L, put in an O. We have to end with the um, quotation mark again, which was above, above the plus sign. So, and I'm already in alphanumerics because the A is blinking, so I'm gonna put that in. I'm going to turn off my alphanumerics by hitting alpha again, and I'm going to put in my right parenthesis and hit enter. All right, if I type that in right, this should type in. So second quit, program, execute the program. Keep your fingers crossed. There we go. Yep. It's going to be trial and error. Uh, getting your words placed where you want to. So if you're going to put in text, it's just trial and error process uh, of picking out the right numbers. Okay, I've already shown you how to insert a line of programming. Let me do that again. Let's go into program and hit edit. Let's say I left, let's say I want to insert something after this line right here. I want to insert a line here. You just do second, insert, and hit enter. And I've got a blank line in there. If I want to add some programming there, I can, or I can leave it blank. Uh, oh, here, if you want to scroll down through your program, do second alpha, second alpha, you've got to be an alpha lock, and that'll scroll through your program. Okay, so maybe I want to scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, and then when you want to stop scrolling, hit alpha again. All right, tip you may want to turn your axes on during programming so that you can see your uh, domain or your, yeah, your domain restrictions. So if you want to do that, you go to second format and go back down here. Actually, whoops, let me, let me not do that. Let me second quit. Let me go back in here, right here, hit edit. If I'm going to turn the axes on so I can see what I'm going to, what, where my functions are at, I'm going to do it right here. So I would clear that out, go back into second format, go down and turn the axes on, hit enter, hit enter again, second quit. So now if I execute my program, I can actually see where my functions are turning on and where they're turning off. It's really, really handy to leave that on while you're programming so that you can see where your functions are coming on and turning off at. But then when your project is done, and you're ready to turn it in, you're going to go back in to this line right here, clear that out, and turn your axes off. Okay? All right. Uh, there's a whole list of programming errors here. Uh, if you get an error, you're going to want to go back to box 7 in your notes. Right here, programming errors. If you get an error, it usually means you're trying to divide by zero. The cause is you left the draw F out. Okay, so go back in, see if you left out your draw out, you left out your draw F. Uh, lines are not being drawn. This is usually caused by dom domain restrictions being set wrong. If you do not see your line, you either goofed on your restrictions or your Y intercept. If you get an error, choose option two, go to. This will take you to the line where the error is at, but it will not tell you where the error is. Okay? I'll finish this out in the next video.